can we move to kind of your personal protocol? So what do you do, if you can share that? What, what do you do to stay uh, young and healthy? Well, I do gene therapy. Um, yes. That is <laughs> that is my my number one. I'm 50 now, and um, I I think that that's where I've gotten the biggest um, outcome in my yeah. overall health. Uh, but I exercise, and mm. I I'm a, I'm a vegetarian, and I veer towards several days of the week being a vegan. Um, I not only think it's ethical, I think that it's um, right for my body and my age. Um, I'm not in the grow and go stage anymore. Although my muscle mass is really good. And after my gene therapies, I definitely ate like everything. I, I, I had an unlimited diet. But I do think that um, a person uh, does not need an excess amount of calories. Uh, but I, you know, I'm not I'm not really a faster either. So I don't know. I'm just telling you eat healthy, eat a lot of things that you recognize as food and, and, uh, exercise. And that's how you're going to get the most out of the middle, uh, part of your life. And the genetics are going to come in, in, in the end, they're going to be very important. Uh, if not, um, we know detrimental as aging comes with a hundred percent mortality rate at this point. It does. Yes. Uh, do you take any supplements? Can I ask? I have taken supplements on and off. I am really terrible at taking supplements. I met an incredible company today um, that I may be talking about after I learn a bit, little bit more about them. They're doing genetic testing and they're actually, they have done all of this research on supplements to make sure that people don't get too much or too little. So before my gene therapy, so I have kind of a bad relationship with supplements. I, when I do it, I often do it wrong. Let's just say, so I don't often do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so one day, even just what was that? Uh, that was like two years ago, I had to take a day off of work and I work seven days a week. I love what I do. So it's not a problem. I, I think it's an honor, but to get to work on something so cool, but um, I had taken, I don't know, I, I took magnesium and an iron pill and something else. And, and I said, I feel terrible. I, I did feel terrible. And I called my doctor and she said, well, you know, you took three toxic heavy metals together, you know, and I wouldn't know that because people just say, Hey, I suggest you take this. You've got low energy, take an iron pill. You've got, you know, you've been working out and you've got muscle cramps, take your magnesium. And so I tend to go, ah, and then uh, have a bad outcome. Um, I, uh, before I took the gene therapy, somebody told me that DHEA was good. And so I took it. Well, it turns out I was taking one pill, but I was taking a man's dose and it gave me like sweating and all this. I don't think that we have good guidelines on how you're supposed to do this stuff. Um, I do believe in taking some D3 because I live in the Northern hem hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Um, I do believe in, um, um, uh, taking a little um, NAD precursor uh, here and there, maybe every three days, don't overdo it. Um, I do take a multivitamin uh, occasionally uh, to make sure I'm well-rounded. And I take some B12 because I'm, I'm vegan, vegetarian. And so I probably don't get a lot of that. Um, I take probiotics. I think that they're really good. But again, I think, I don't, I don't necessarily think we need more regulation. I think we need more good people coming in and doing the research and showing us what we actually need to take. And for instance, when they looked at all cause mortality, you know, people who took an excessively high dose of vitamins actually fared worse. So mm -hmm. um, I think that we need people to understand that when you're taking vitamins uh, and minerals, you're taking them in doses not seen in nature. And so a little bit of them probably is good. You know, it's what your body uh, would be looking for, but a lot of them may not be so great. I mean, it literally is, could be toxic amounts of mm. something, right? Because, um, so I'm pretty careful, uh, with the nutraceuticals at this point. So, you know, every couple of days, you know, taking something, um, that might help certain levels, especially if you can test them like your vitamin D, that was really telling my, my doctor said, Oh my God, your vitamin D is so low. So I took vitamin D and it started to come up. Hey, that's great. That's something that's measurable, but things that aren't measurable, you have to be careful with. That's why we're super excited to get that NAD test. They've got all these people taking it. Well, is it doing you benefit? 
You know, mm-hmm. we want people to test and find out. We would love to know what people are doing too, as well as taking the test, but just finding out for themselves right now, hey, that's a good place to start. Right. Yes. The senescent cell one would be really interesting as well to see whether you need to take like fisetin or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was really excited about the fisetin stuff. So I'm not against all this stuff. I'm really, uh, I'm really for it. Um, it's just, if we can't measure it, we don't actually know what we're doing. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and it's my argument with the millions of dollars into mouse studies for drugs that may not even benefit humans. You know, we, we ask small companies to do upward of $5 million worth of animal studies, and then a drug can still fail in a human. You know, it, it's kind of like, it's a tragedy. Well, you know, if, they're, if you're working in a realm of areas where there is no studies, that can be uh, probably not very good for you as well. Right. Okay, excellent, thank you. So can you, can, so can you tell people where we can find out more about BioViva and uh, yeah, what, what your current research is? Absolutely. So um, actually, we have a new website that we just got in the last year. Um, it's bioviva-science.com. And there you're going to see our products, but we're going to start adding what our research and development is uh, to that. We've just gotten again through the provisional stage. And so we can start talking about it and we want the, uh, it to come out in journal. Uh, so we're a little bit slightly embargoed uh, while we get acceptance there. And um, it's, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, I think that this was, this was what the world was ready for. We spent a lot of time. We did not uh, jump on any specific bandwagons. We looked at what this area, gene therapy delivery needed and I believe that we found it. And so um, we're, we're super excited about that. So please go to bioviva-science.com uh, to follow us and learn more. And uh, when we work with um, clinics who are doing things that are experimental and new and they decide to work with us, they have to sign off on that we will actually be releasing papers about uh, what we find. And so start looking for papers coming out from us as well on these uh, cutting edge technologies. Uh, interesting. So you, do you have an, a newsletter that people can sign up for? Uh, yes. Uh, so if you go to the website, bioviva-science.com, it'll prompt you and ask you if you want to sign up uh, to a newsletter before you get started. I suggest you do it. Uh, that's a great way to stay in touch with us. Uh, okay. So Liz, thank you so much for spending the time today. And uh, that was really interesting. Thank you yeah, so much. Thanks for having me. I hope that uh, you're really excited about the future. I think that it looks, it looks quite amazing. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.